pubgoers.com. Be the hub of your pub. Hey, pub goers, this is Casey. I'm going to be in the Napa Valley for the next two weeks checking out some local pubs. I'm actually from Napa, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy coming back home for a little while. And uh, stay tuned this week for more at Pub Goers. Today, Pub Goers is at the Silverado Brewing Company in St. Helena, California. Hi, Pub Goers, this is Casey again, and I'm at the Silverado Brewing Company in St. Helena, California. Um, Napa's kind of near and dear to my heart because I grew up here and uh, left town in 88, but do come back once in a while to visit. Um, I am here with Debbie and Jennifer Fredelizio. Got the name right. Um, I thought for sure I was going to goof that up. And uh, I just wanted to start out with my favorite topic about pubs, um, the beers you have on tap. I know you guys brew your own beers here, and we're going to have some pictures up on the site um, of your brewing facility, which is indoors. Um, but why don't you talk about uh, what kind of beers you have on tap right now, and if you have any seasonal beers. We have four beers that we are constant. It's our um, blonde, and then our amber, our um, pale ale, and our oak mill stout. And we have two seasonal beers. Right now we have our rye and our um, brown ale. Brown ale. Yeah, and soon it's coming our Oktoberfest because we're celebrating Oktoberfest oh, yeah, at the end sure. of the month. I noticed you guys have some special events coming up in October for Oktoberfest. I saw a little flyers like that. What do you guys have going on? We've got a whole week. Uh, we start the 29th of September, and uh, so it kicks off then. And then the Wednesday night, the 30th, is a community dinner. So we're going to do beer hall style in here. You either get nice. the sausage or chicken and start with appetizers of pretzels and get beer and it's to support the local Boys and Girls Club. So okay. first you'll go to them. Thursday night is our Brewmaster's Dinner, which is an annual thing. We only take about 40 people, so it's very small. And you get five beers paired with five courses of German food, which is yeah. delicious. Yeah. And a good, a good time. The Brewmaster's always there. Our owners are there. And it's just usually local, so it's quite a good feel. Everybody's having a good time. Now, do you serve the beers in those, like, liter size? We don't have anyone have who can Germany? pour those here. Uh, None yeah. of us or can pull them up. Right? Yeah, so no, we have, you get it in a wine glass, but you get as much as you need. So have you been on government test before? Have you seen those women no. carrying, like, ten in each hand of those? I don't know how beers. you do that. Yeah, yeah they got Popeye arms. <laughs> That's more than we are, our, our staff wants to handle, so we're not going to make them do that. Yeah, but you get as much beer as you need, so if you keep drinking it, we'll keep giving it to you. <laughs> and I, I could definitely keep drinking it. What's the most popular beer you serve for you? Think? You know, on a general basis, our blonde and our amber, if you're a light beer drinker or you like a little bit darker, those are the two that definitely go the fastest. Okay. Uh, otherwise, seasonals are IPA. Oh, you do have an IPA. very popular beer. And then also um, our Oktoberfest lager. We only do two lagers. The Oktoberfest and then um, a Maybach, which since our brewmaster is Ken Mee, we call a Maybach here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but those are the only two lagers to make. Everything else is a nail. Do you get your ingredients locally or from all over the country? You know, I, I, I know I wasn't going to ask uh, any technical beer questions, but that's... Actually, most oh, that's of them okay. are coming from Germany, and they're, we're working on getting all organic ingredients, so it's getting harder oh, and harder, and that's why the price is getting lower. Okay. Yeah, because And you, you have one beer master here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we have an assistant, too. Okay. So you have Ken Mee, who's our beer, and he's also an owner um, of the restaurant. Or and brewmaster, then, I should yeah, say, sorry. Yeah, brewmaster, and he's a, a part sure owner, and then title. we have um, Matt Cromwell, who's our assistant brewer. Fantastic. How long have they been uh, working for you? Making well, Ken has been from the start. So 2000, we opened the restaurant June of 2000. So he's been here the whole time. And Matt's been with us, I think, two years. Two years? Mm -hmm. So you guys, are you local from the Napa Valley area when you bought this place? Or were you here a while? We were from California. Yeah. Um, and we moved here actually in 91. So, 91? From Sacramento. Um, from Sacramento area. So. What part of Sacramento? I used to live in Rancho Cordova. That's right. <laughs> yes, yes. We lived on Data Drive right next to where I worked at WebEx off Highway 50. We lived on Ambassador. It was an ambassador. I think it was okay. Ambassador. Yes. Do you like Napa? Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I can't afford to live here anymore. That's my problem. <laughs> it's, very it's a little hard. <laughs> it is expensive. So uh, you opened up the place in 2009. Um, family owned. 2000. Not right now. Oh, 2000. I'm we sorry. just celebrated nine yeah. years. Nine year anniversary. And I noticed you guys have a really great menu too with a lot of fantastic real food items, not just like fried food, but you have <laughs> super, right. super entrees. you want to talk about that at all? Well, actually, our, our best seller is our fish and chips, okay. which you got to have with your yeah, with a And our hamburger is, is one of the two best sellers. But some of the other items, we do incredible salads. Our Chinese chicken salad is really something that everybody loves. We have the, our pulled pork sandwich is one of the favorites. It's our it's our house made barbecue sauce that does that. They go we make it with the amber ale and it's just that barbecue sauce it's so good. But uh, other entrees we do a um, a fresh salmon that's also served with quinoa. We're getting a little bit healthier. 
um, that people really like. And our flat iron steaks, all natural, sustainable raised. So. You almost have to have that kind of menu here in Napa because a lot of the restaurants and grills keep it pretty high, top shelf kind of stuff for yes. eateries, right? Well, yeah, we plus our, 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 my husband and her father is very into no high, high fructose. There's no high fructose in the restaurant, um, no trans fats. All our meats are organically, you know, are sustainable. All our meats are sustainable. We try to do most of our produce organic, organic or sustainable. And local. And local. And local We're yeah. very local oriented. Our meats are as local as we can get. So it's, it's all about, you know, being able to look the farmer in the eye and, and, and see eye to eye. Yeah, and like I said, support your local farmers. Support and it keeps local. it fresh. Yeah. Um, I noticed a lot of the pups up in Ashland, Oregon, where I just came from, are doing the same thing, keeping it green mm -hmm. and trying to stay as local as possible to help out the local economy and then just the whole green meaning behind keeping it local without transporting food yeah. very far or something right, like that. Right. Yeah. Um, the clientele you get in here, are they mostly tourists or do you get locals or a good mix? We get a lot of locals and then the tourists definitely add to it, but our, our day to day, especially weekday lunch, is, is local. Tourists um, and winemakers. We, we get a lot of winemakers wine yeah. that come in here for lunch and you know they want to have, you know, we always say beer is wine's best friend. Yeah, so. it's here for the beer. I was actually born in Milwaukee, you know, so I got beer in my blood, but <laughs> growing up in Napa, I always got wine on yeah. the mind. So, I, I mean, I used to actually work at uh, Christian Brothers Winery before they shut down right up the road in the Greystone Cellars. So anybody from Napa definitely is into wine. Do you guys sell a lot of wine here? You must with the meals. We sell, I mean, it's, it's a good percentage, but it's definitely not something we promote. We have what we call a good neighbors list. So it's our neighbors wines. Okay. We're pouring anybody that's around us locally that we want to support again. Um, so we pretty much stick to this, the Upper Valley, Napa area. Perfect. Um, you were mentioning that the Oktoberfest festivities are going to help out the Child Fund. Are there any other organizations you're involved in or community outreach for well, the You know, fund? we actually do, we do a lot. Uh, we have a, a Rotary is one of the big ones that we usually support. We do their weekly lunch as well as a lot of their events, and then they in turn support other groups. Um, Seroptimus, uh, Republican Women. We have a big new um, event, Bell Mill, which is the Bell Mill up the road. Mm -hmm. We're supporting that because it's getting closed down, so they're trying to get some private money into it. Fundraising. It's the oldest yeah. mill. It's a really old mill, 1800s, and actually Mills Grain, which we try, we get our grain from there. I think I saw them on the Travel Channel, or there's some documentary yeah, on PBS yeah, that went great. over there and, so, and um, covered that. We have a big event we're doing there. We, we actually um, are growing our own pigs. And so, uh, raising our own pigs. Sorry. Grow Stop raising them. <laughs> raising our own pigs, and then we're going to going to butcher one for that event, so okay. big, um, and they're going to use the whole It's thing. called a pig roast, and so that event is um, September 19th. And Who does the roasting, by the way? I noticed you had a huge smoker <laughs> roaster outside. Yeah, he's an excellent barbecue. Who's the chef? Um, um, Bernardo Ali. Okay. Ali. 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 I can't say it. So you guys are definitely involved in the community, it sounds like, oh, yeah. giving back through charitable organizations or donating the pig that you grew. <laughs> that actually, up until about a year ago, our only marketing was um, through donations to events. That's Fantastic. how people knew about us, you know, from the local school, all the local schools to, you know, anything, especially in things that involve kids. How about um, any special goings on here on weekends or Fridays, either live music or karaoke night or something like well, that? Well, we just started an open mic night on Wednesdays, actually. We have a gentleman who's running that here. For and comedy then, or, or singing? No, for, well, you know what? I think you could do whatever you okay, want. Just, I think he lets anyone get up there. And, yeah, like <laughs> you get up there and tell us about whatever you feel that night, I guess. And when does that start? Is that it, it's actually started uh, about two weeks ago, and it's been going, so we're going to okay. keep that going. And then um, part of Oktoberfest, we are having a DJ night, a German club party with the Jaeger Girl on Friday, the uh, October 2nd. Is that like polka dancing DJ or something? You know, like we're that, not quite or? sure. He said he'd find German oh, rock <laughs> music for us kind of idea. But the Yeager girls will be here as well, so that should be a really fun party. Um, but other than that, right now, our live music's a little bit sporadic. We will have live polka music all week long for Oktoberfest. Oh, which I wish I was here for that. love, people love, but if you work the here all day, you're the, like, uh, Turn it uh, off, right? But, Kill the but accordion good. player. <laughs> Um, that's about it for me. Is there anything you want to say about your pub or to get people to come on down and drink your beer and eat your food? This is your last two else? seconds you can say anything. <laughs> I, I, no, I want you to uh, thank, you, for thank you though for having me here today yeah, and uh, putting up with my questions. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I, saw, I saw your site. It's a great site. Cool. And remember, that's a great site. Thank you very much. <laughs>